still sick. Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's no one, and welcome to today's report. The fourth day for our Deliriant Holiday Halloween special. So, welcome to today's report. Today's report is on Brugmansia, or another form of the Torah, who's this spy is dead end off of Erewid. When this happened, 2007, gender, male, weight 125 pounds the dose was one pod or an estimate of 300 seeds his prior experience he seems to have taken the tour before as he does describe remembering the feeling and where this happened it did start off at his house but not for the whole trip the rest is very difficult to pinpoint exactly if he went somewhere else due to his state of mind but he does describe ending up in a variety of different places but what stands out the most is the mall so this is a pretty straightforward tour report that include includes amnesia and a lot of uh, other negative effects especially uh, long-term effects so we get to see that here so i think you guys will like it and without further ado let's dive right into it the torah seeds are by far one of the most delirious and nonsensical things i've ever consumed i've taken this plant seeds a handful of times but the last time i consumed it is when it totally fucked me i was at home in my room with my friends black man d jack jack with two k's and tony Jack, with 1k, had brought over some moonflower pods and told me that they will trip me out. At the time, I did not know that moonflowers and the Torah were the exact same thing. I should have noticed by the way the seeds looked, but I didn't. I grabbed a pod which contains around 300 seeds and consumed them all quickly. I ate the pods insides then too. I sat back and waited. Ten minutes later, something happened something I knew I felt before. Everything got way heavy. My mouth was a desert, and I was definitely high. I said out loud, Fuck, I know this feeling, and everyone looked at me. I stood up and staggered to my bed because I knew what was bound to happen. I couldn't stop the trip, but I instantly knew the best way to avoid the worst. My bed was all that mattered to me. I don't know if anyone said anything to me after I lied in bed, but I just fell into it and waited for lucidity to take over. I knew this was the Torah. There was no doubt in my mind. Before I lost semi-consciousness, I recognized the seats and mentally kicked myself in the ass. For the next seven to eight hours, I was lucid dreaming throughout the night. I tried to sweep the effects away. I thought it worked. I awoke the next day and still felt mind-fucked, but stable. I hung out with some friends and had a normal day. That is, until nightfall. I was outside with my friends, Liz and Tony. I was a little stoned on some pot, and we were just sitting down. I was feeling sick that day. Suddenly, I look up, and we were in the mall. I looked around, and my vision quickly snapped back to normal. I told my friends, and they said I still must be tripping. I was. Every 10 seconds, I would look up and see a different place. I kept thinking we were where we weren't. I can't remember everything though, and places I saw are hard to remember. I only remember the mall. I went inside and slept it off. Two weeks later, I'm writing this. I've been sick ever since I consumed that wretched the Torah. This strong sickness. I've never been so sick in my life. It's so bad that I'll be going to the hospital today. I believe the Torah killed my immune system and then something got inside. My sickness is all head cold times 1000 along with weak and wobbly legs at certain points of the day. I get the chills but I naturally am cold, but more so since I've taken that God forsaken plant.